Okay, a school year on the new means a new fun way to express yourself and maybe your creative side as well. Along with your kids, yeah. right? Teachers do so much for our little ones and sometimes a little small gift can really go a long way. Here with see some DIY gifts to show your appreciation for teachers, founder of Pop Shop America. Welcome back to the show, Brittany Bly. Great to see you. Thanks so much for having me. I am so great excited. Okay, we have some great demos, but very yes. quickly, Pop Shop America, this is such a great way for all kinds of people to get back in touch with their creative sides. Can you just Absolutely. give us the 411? So we're a DIY blog that actually teaches workshops in Houston. We have four public events so people can come and get their craft on, make things from beginning to end, and they get to keep the things that they've made. It's super cool. And you were on the show last time. We made some great mugs. And uh, hopefully you'll continue coming back. Yes, so today, let's talk about some of these really cool ways to dress up every day items. Yeah, absolutely. So we wanted to do some really fun DIY teacher gifts. So it's back to school and everybody needs something special. So all of these are super practical for any school or any, even any office. So there's all kinds of things here. We have some gilded scissors. So you took just, just regular, regular orange scissors yes. and gilded them. They used to be orange, exactly. I'm glad you noticed that. We have a stapler, we've got binder clips, pencils. All of these have been gilded with silver gilding, gold gilding. It's a liquid that we brush on. And that's so this here, the, right? Yeah, absolutely. Is gilding a process or just the liquid? Yeah, that's a great question. It's actually both. So the, the name actually applies to uh, when you're doing like a leafing, like you could with a frame. Okay. Or like a vintage technique. And Derek, do you want to grab a brush as well? Yeah, no problem. And let's just make some stuff. It really just takes a minute. All of this is super fun to do with kids. You can do it on leather too? Absolutely, so you can just paint it right on. Oh no, I, I have fun. a yeah. prediction that Courtney's gonna be in, up in our office later painting takes, everything gold. I know. This is so cool, I it love it. It takes about 30 minutes to dry, okay. and then it's good to go. Love it. Okay, I'm completely obsessed with what's happening in here in the middle with these dinosaurs. Brittany. Yeah, absolutely. These are just our regular old dinos that our kids have that you made as a little planter? We made it into a planter. So all you need are some dino toys. We take an X-Acto knife. And what we're going to do is we just cut an opening into the top of the toy, <laughs> and then we're going to turn it into a planter. So and let's go ahead like, and make one right now. Would we already use that same paint that we did over here? We did right here. You know, gilding is really fun because you can use it with anything. Okay. For this DIY, the office supplies, we used it on supplies that a teacher could use. That's great for a classroom. That's something that's easy to give. But it's really applicable in a lot of different ways. So to make these, all we need are just a few rocks on the bottom. Okay. So do you guys want to try this? We have a whole nother dino right there. Yeah, let's totally. put that in Just here. Just add so a few on the bottom. Like, uh, where do we get the rocks? The rocks, you can get them at any pet supply store. These are actually fish? aquarium like fish rocks. Tank rocks. Okay. Right? Exactly, exactly. These you can get at any toy store. You can get them online from Amazon. The dinosaurs should be easy to find. Maybe your kids already have some Courtney, and you can borrow them from job. your kids. Right? These are the air plants? Is that yeah, what you Yeah, right? that's an air plant. And right here I've got a succulent. Which succulents are huge right They're now. They're so great. This is so stinking cute. It is really cute. It's a great idea. Yeah. Okay, let's move on to some uh, candles that look rather unusual. This in a good our, way. In a good way. Yeah, this is our third DIY. So all of these, we're doing these back-to-school teacher gifts. Maybe you already have candles around the house, but this is something you could get at like a dollar supp supply or like a craft store. They're really just a few dollars. And what we're going to do is we're going to take these leaves. Where'd you get the leaves? From your garden? I got these outside in my yard. Okay. No way. But if you want to make these seasonal, you could use a maple leaf, and yeah. it would be perfect for fall. Or a sprig of rosemary. Ro oh, yes. rosemary would be beautiful. <laughs> we were totally on the same page. Courtney really <laughs> likes I my idea. That. I do. <laughs> so I'm going to take this paper towel and place it in between there. Okay. I always want to protect it. Okay. Do you want me to hold while you... Actually, iron? you don't have to do a thing. Okay. And so all we're going to do is we're going to take this iron and I'm just going to press it down. Is it we on low? We want to make sure it's on low. Okay. If you get any wax on your iron, that's okay. You can just wipe it right off. Once it cools. No, when it's still when hot. When it's still hot? Yes. Oh, wow. Absolutely. So you're okay. not going to have any mess. You don't have to worry about ruining anything. But if the kids are helping you out, the iron is probably the adult. The adult. The adult this step. is the adult thing. And with the dino planners, the X-Acto knife is going to be an adult thing. Absolutely. But everything else is kid-friendly. 
And then we just... Reveal the finished product. Yeah, absolutely. So obviously that we have TV time constraints, but we get the idea. What a cool idea, Brittany. I never would have thought of using an iron with dry leaves to stick it onto a candle, but it's a great idea. This is so yeah. cute. Courtney, well done. I love it. Brittany, I love it too. Thank you so much. Okay, a reminder, popshopamerica.com. That's the website to visit to keep up with Brittany and all the great activities they have throughout the year. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks. All right, keep it right here. There's much more Houston Life right after the break.